Okay, I'm going to talk through bracketing. I find that it's actually it's going to be easier if I just show you how to do it and then we'll talk about the reasoning behind it afterwards. So, when we're doing exposure bracketing, because you can also do focus, but we're going to talk through exposure bracketing. If we just switch to either time value or aperture value. Now I'm on aperture value at the moment. If I press the function set button and scroll down this sidebar, you'll see this one here. It looks like an icon. It's got it looks like it's got sort of one dark, one middle, and one light image, and that's actually exactly what bracketing does. So usually it would be turned to this, so it's got the little off word next to it. it. Just means that we're not using bracketing. So you've got your exposure bracketing here and your focus here, but we're going to talk through exposure today. So AEB is just auto exposure bracketing. So you press display in order to change your settings. And what this is doing is it's letting you pick how overexposed or underexposed your image is. Now if anyone's sitting there being confused about the idea of exposure, your exposure is basically, in simple terms, how bright your image is coming out. Overexposed will be very bright, almost too bright, and underexposed is a lot darker than your original image is going to be. So what we can do, we can use the wheel and we can actually move these in and out. And what we're doing is we're saying how extreme we want the overexposure and underexposure to be. So we can turn it to just have it sort of one point over and one point under. Or we can go for a wider gap. Um, I like to keep it on the extremes just in case I have really misjudged my image. So the idea of exposure, in short is that you're going around taking a picture you don't have time to change your settings by doing the exposure bracketing it takes one picture brighter and one picture darker which means if you've messed up your original settings you've got these two other photos that could possibly be a bit more accurate so maybe you've set your ISO too high by doing bracketing the underexposed image is automatically going to be a lot darker which means if you're taking that picture with an ISO that's too high then the underexposed image will probably be more accurate to what you originally wanted it's great when you're taking pictures that you can never get the chance to take again anyway I'm going to take the camera outside and show you how it works with scenery when we were selecting bracketing if you press the function set button if you remember we were selecting the bracketing from here so once we decided how extreme we want our two other images to be, we can just press the display button to go back and press the function set to select it. And you'll see that it's been selected because you'll see that little icon with the three images there. If you just take a picture in aperture value, what you'll do is you'll hear it take three pictures. I don't know if you heard that, but it did three different images. and what you'll see is this one here is extremely overexposed but what it's doing is it's picking up those green highlights and it's picking up the highlights on the chairs alternatively with the underexposed one it's picked up all the silhouettes of the trees and the blue of the sky and then we've got the original um, image here which has got sort of the medium blues and greens now most of the time the first image you take is the perfect one anyway so if you forget to change your settings often and you're going indoors and outdoors it's good to have the three pictures in case you do forget to change your settings for indoors these three pictures can be put together in software to make HDR imaging and HDR images it stands for high dynamic range photography it puts all those elements together to allow you to make a picture that keeps the perfect colour and the perfect detail and everything exactly how you want it to be. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a Photoshop tutorial. This was basically to run through what exposure bracketing is and how to do it.